Hi, my name is Cynthia. Today my top 10 tips is going to be re regarding MS, multiple sclerosis. I have multiple sclerosis and I've had it for quite a few years and I want to talk to you a little bit about it. It's becoming more and more prevalent. More people are being diagnosed with it so I think it's important to talk about it. Let's talk about what you should do if you think you might have MS. First of all, get do some research on the topic. It's really important to know the symptoms of MS. So if you do some research, get online and find out, you can find out a lot of information about symptoms. One of the first things you should do is find a good neurologist. Now, you should get a neurologist that specializes in MS. Not just, just don't go to any just any neurologist that's out there. Find a specialist. Every, um, every state has specialists. Every city has specialists. And you might have to travel to find the best one. And don't feel you have to stay with one. If you don't feel comfortable with that person, woman or man, you got to be able to talk to that person. One of the first things they're going to want you to do is have an MRI. Now, you can have a MRI of your brain, and you can also have one of your spine. Both of those are really important to find out if you have MS. And if you're having problems walking and things like that, you definitely should have an MRI of your spine. Your neurologist should set this up for you, and you'll know pretty soon whether you have MS from that. The next thing you need to do is start looking into nutrition ideas because when you have MS it's really important that you are on the right diet. Mediterranean diet is very popular right now for MS people. Just look into your nutrition and do some research online on that. Next thing you should do, learn how to exercise. It's really important to do exercises with MS. Now, a lot of times when you have MS, you just want to sit around and not move, but it's important that you do exercise. And there's a lot of good sites. There's a real good MS gym on, on YouTube that you can get some really good ideas from that gentleman. And you do a lot of research. You'll find other YouTube channels that will help you with exercise. Right now I have a, a recumbent bike that I try to ride on a regular basis. Besides walking, if you can do walking, do that because that is probably one of the best exercises you can ever do. Next thing you do is look into medications. Now I'm going to do an, uh, videos on medications down the road, but if you have MS, it's important that you get on medications as soon as possible. And I'm going to get into my story a little bit in one of my videos to let you know how important that was. And there's a hard, it's, sometimes it's hard to find the right medication because you'll have side effects. But once you do, don't give up. Look into getting a medication because it's important to stem the MS as soon as possible so you do not have future damage because it's, you can't get it back. Once you have that damage, it's done. Right now, at least. Now, they're doing a lot of research on that topic, but right now, if you lose, if you have damage, it can't be repaired right now. Next thing, look into some MS groups. If you think you might have MS before you go and see a, a neurologist, find an MS group in your area and go to it. And you can talk to different people in the group to find out what neurologist they are using and you'll get some good ideas for somebody to go to. Now I went initially to somebody that was nice but I wanted somebody who was a little more aggressive and I got one that was aggressive and he was hated by the MS group. They hated him. I loved him because he was to the point very aggressive and gave me a lot of good ideas. He eventually retired. I had to find another one and I did. I found a very good one because he referred me to him. But get somebody that's not there to just hold your hand. You want somebody that's up on all the topics. So find a good neurologist as soon as possible. Next thing, 
your finances, you're going to have to start being very careful about your budgeting and financing. You don't know down the road if you're going to be on disability and have to quit your job. Hopefully you will never have to do that. I had to do that. I am a prof was a professional lawyer. I had to give up that profession because I could not continue doing the luring that I needed to do to keep money coming in, for one thing. I had to eventually file for disability, and we can talk about that in another video down the road. But that's an idea that you need to start putting money aside right now, or get disability insurance if you can afford to do that. Sign up for it as soon as possible, because when you're younger, it's cheaper. If you get it later in life, you can't afford really to get it. So get it early on if you can't afford to get it, because that is if you have MS. You might have some other problems besides MS, but if you have MS, it's important to get that set aside right away. Hopefully I've given you some good ideas for MS, multiple sclerosis. It's not a fun disease to have. It's, there's no cure. You have to learn to live with it. And hopefully you'll get some good information from this video. And I'm going to have some other videos on different topics concerning MS and about my life with MS. Hopefully you got some good ideas. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel. I try to download a video every Monday. And I'm going to have some future ones on MS coming up. Okay? Thank you for visiting my channel. Bye now.